over. I am never going to leave another bar through the window again. Never. You're hurting my arm, Kane. Oh, I'm breaking your arm. Why don't you leave the lady alone? This valley's like a time bomb about to go over. This valley belongs to Intercontinental. Peter McAllister, the only Occidental American ever to achieve the martial arts discipline of a ninja. Once part of a secret sect, he wanted to leave, but was mocked for death by his fellow ninjas. He's searching for a daughter he didn't know he had. Pursued by Okasa, once the master's student, now sworn to kill him. found a new student. That's me, Max Keller. But we knew Okasa would be behind us, in the shadows, ready to strike again. Looks like they haven't had rain in months. From what we've seen so far, this valley could lose its whole crop this season. Melons rotten on the ground. It really takes guts to keep coming back, year after year. It's not even an enemy you can fight. There are other ways of fighting. I got a feeling this conversation's coming right around the corner at me. No more fighting, Max, no matter how provoked. No matter how provoked? Come on. I don't think that would have worked too good for you back in WW2. I mean, how about when you were in your P-40? And they were coming at you right out of the sun. That was another time. It was a lot easier then to tell the good guys from the bad guys. What I'm talking about is your pension for popping people and asking questions after. Oh, me? All right, you go get us a room, and I'll go get us something cold to drink. Max. Okay, okay, deal. New leaf. I am never going to leave another bar through the window again. Never. How's that? Never say never. <laughs> Give me whatever you got that's cold. You're fighting on the losing side, darling. Good-looking girl like you, wasting her time all alone out on that farm. Just a mama for company. Okay, and being alone beats the daylights out of being with you. <laughs> you can wind up just like your mama, you know that? How would you like your teeth for a domino set? Oh, I love that smart mouth. Is that why they call you cat? You're hurting my arm, Kane. Oh, I'm breaking your arm. Hey, why don't you leave the lady alone, huh? Oh, what do we have here? Does our cat have a new toy to play with? I've never seen him before, Ken. The city boy, though, isn't he? I've got the smell all over him. Are you here to defend our little cat? So what's he going to do? I thought I'd leave that to the sheriff's office. How about it, Deputy Landon? I'm off duty. Besides, all I'm hearing is talk. Waiting to hear her arm break? Just enjoying the day. You want to defend this lady's honor? You want to take a swing at me? Well, then you go for it. 
I'm not fighting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give, it, give it to him, okay? Give it to him. <laughs> That's fighting. <laughs> Oh, that's it, Kate. That's it. Don't. Stay out of it, boy. Oh, just stay out of it. Just stay out of it. I'll take him out of it. Get him. Oh. Oh. I tried. I really tried. Not hard enough. See, there's this girl. I'm no kidding. You're gonna hurt her. <laughs> no. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> Let me help you. Need your help now. Yeah. City boy, come back for some more. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Flex your muscles. You're good out of it. Eventually. That's enough! See how you like this. Too late, huh? Oh. I'm sorry, Joe. Mom lost one of her trucks last week, too. I know that it's Kane and his truckers from the Intercontinental Express. Are you coming over tonight? I don't know, Kat. I don't know. Will you guys please take me home? Someone live here with you? Or do you want us to stick around until... No, my, my mother's here. There's no need for you to stay. I'll be all right. Yeah? I was just giving you a chance to say thanks before I left. For what? For what? You won't fight in the bar, so your friend has to bail us out. Then you watch while Joe's entire crops get crushed. What did you do that was so wonderful? I ought to thank you. You're something. I mean, you're really something. You could have been left in that bar to have your head split open. Those thugs on the highway could have done a lot worse to joke if we hadn't come along. But you're right. Don't thank me. I don't deserve it. I mean, I really like being thrown through windows. It's kind of a hobby. But I hope you win. Whatever battle it is you're fighting. Since you don't need any help. Get out. Life had friendlier hellos. Get off my property. And you tell Hellman not to send any more men, and you remind him that Maggie Sinclair doesn't quit. And neither will any of the farmers in this valley. Don't try it. Look, Mrs. Sinclair, we don't know anybody by the name of Hellman. Now, there was a fight. Your daughter was hurt. Cat? Where is she? Inside. She's OK. I'm sorry. Temperature and my blood pressure must be the same. 
If you brought Kat back, I'm obliged. Goodbye. You know something? We gotta stop minding our own business and stop trying to help people. Oh, we're good at that. Friendly town. Doesn't anybody just say hello, how are you, things like that? Hellman. What? Maggie, she said a man named Hellman had said. So she greets you with a shotgun? Vice Dean. I think you were kind of taken with her. I think I was too. I hope she has a little more compassion than her offspring. Because if it's mother like daughter, whew, you've got a real hellcat on your hands. You don't think I can handle her? How long has it been since? Since what? Since you've been with someone. I think the Ark had just sailed. I only meant it. Hey, is that guy nuts? He's in the middle of the boat. Major body work. 48 hours at least. Max. Leave it. That's the same truck. I know it is. No witnesses. It's their word against ours. What we need is proof. I'll get it. I know, I know, I know. No shurikens, no tetsubishi, no fighting. Maybe I can be in the right place at the wrong time and hear enough to give us a picture. Think you can do it without being seen? Phantoms. <laughs> I remember. I'm gonna go talk to Kat's mother. Maybe I can find out what's happening in this valley. And I'll meet you in the hotel tonight. I didn't come here to hurt you. I just want to talk. I thought I told you to get off my property. I did exactly what you told me. Somebody tried to run us off the road. Almost killed us. An 18-wheeler. Was the logo on the side Intercontinental Express? No logo. Of course not. You're the only one I've talked to here in the valley. Somebody didn't like that. Pity they didn't know that all you told me was to get out. I'm sorry. This valley's like a time bomb about to go off. I guess it's too late now to tell you not to get involved. Hellman? Yeah. It's a local problem. Farmers, truckers, they seem to know every move we make. I thought you were on their side, and obviously, they thought you were on mine. Talking sometimes helps. But if you'd rather be alone. I was just going to make some tea. Tom died, that's my husband. It was hard. I had to raise Kat. She's a good girl, 
Look at the way she does. She's been on the edge of trouble since she was 11. She looked to me like she could take care of herself. Not against Hellman. What does the sheriff say? Well, he's busy policing the whole county. He's left a deputy sheriff in charge, Duke Landon. I got a taste of his law enforcement earlier today. Well, he's been in Hellman's pocket so long he doesn't know where the fence is. <laughs> Hellman. Hellman's gone into a lot of trouble for a handful of farms. It wouldn't keep one of his semis on the road for a month. It isn't the money, it's the power. He's got us in the palm of his hand, and he's just closing in. He's just got crushes. Believe me, I know him. I know him. It's going to be all right. We'll make sure it's all right. Some of the farmers are meeting tonight. I don't know if it'll do any good, but will you come to the meeting? It'll be in the barn. I'd like to. Hey, some of you haven't heard Joe Stevens got hit on the highway this afternoon. But I am not going to give in to Intercontinental Express without a fight. I know how you feel, Maggie. I'm third generation in Riverton. But we can't afford to lose this whole season. Maybe giving half of the profits to Intercontinental Express this year is better than nothing. I got three kids to think about. Let Intercontinental Express haul our crops. Maggie, you're right to want to fight. And I'll stick with you as long as I can. But what's the point of holding out if it means losing everything? May I say something? Who are you? An outsider. I don't have a home to lose. I did that a long time ago. But I've had my back to the wall just like you. I don't like to see people pushed around. Now, individually, you don't stand a chance. You're vulnerable. But if you stay together, take your crops in all at one time. Form a juggernaut. A what? Juggernaut's an ancient term. It means battering ram. A convoy. I knew there was a new term for it. It's worked for centuries. What he says makes sense, doesn't it? We could start tomorrow, load up, and plan to move out at dawn the next day. What if it doesn't work? So what if it doesn't work? Are we any worse off than we are now? If this heat and drought keeps up, we're going to lose everything if we don't move. Helmut will throw everything he's got at us. Let him. As long as you stand together. We'll meet tomorrow. Went down just the way you wanted, Mr. Hellman. We took care of the kid and the old man. Ran him right off the road. They're long gone. See, that's what I mean. They're nobodies. It's a waste of time. Look, Hellman, you got the rest of the valley all tied up. And now when are you going to forget about Riverton and Maggie Sinclair and get on with your life? That's none of your business, King. I want Maggie to learn that this valley belongs to Intercontinental. Yeah, Hillman. Yeah? All right. Well, you get all the details together and get back to me. That old man, that nobody you thought was long gone, he just talked to farmers and had taken their crops to the market together to form some kind of a juggernaut, he calls it. And I think it's about time for you to pay Maggie a visit tonight. And this time, make sure she gets the message. I didn't stir you wrong with this juggernaut. It's risky. It's a godsend. Anything that'll keep these people from losing hope is worth a shot. How long were you and Tom Sinclair married? Nine years. How did he die? A heart attack. He's hanging a picture. Said we ought to take Cat to the movies. 
He stepped down off his chair and said his arm was numb. And looked at me and said, I'm sorry, Maggie. It's, it's the small details you remember. The picture was crooked, the cane was unraveling from the chair. The light in the window was dying. Autumn light. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, memories, good or bad, you have to share them. The last five years have been bad. Maybe a little lonely, but I've learned a lot and I've hung on. <laughs> Boy, I sure rattle on, don't I? I wanted to listen to you. I want to know all about you. Well, now you know it all. I don't think so. I don't think you ever let anyone know all that. I never wanted to. It's late. It should be gone. Please don't. to a phone call, don't I? Who to, Drifter? No, what you got is the right to remain silent unless you want me to exercise that right for you. Now get in there, Keller. It's you, ain't it? From the white line. Yeah, how you doing? Listen, we can get out of here. Yeah? The same way you and that old guy got out of the bar. Well, all you got to do is tell me where all that smoke came from. Cigars. Maggie, come on out. We got a message from Hellman. Why don't you give me the message? You just don't go away, do you? Stronger souls than you have found that out. Is that right? Should have kept on going, old fella. Get off my property, Kane. Maggie. <laughs> Maggie, what, uh, you got yourself a new bow? <laughs> Don't think that's none of your business, Kane. Just give me an excuse to pull this trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Now you hold down the fort. There is somebody I have to have words with. She's gonna get hurt. Don't worry. I'll be right behind her. Open up that cell door and let him go. With his record, they'll believe it to be a jailbreak. Kill him, Landon. Hey, you can't go in there. Don't tell me what I can do. I'm sorry, Mr. Hellman. She just barreled in on me. That's all right. Close the door. Yes, sir. 
Well, well, well. I'm on it. I never thought I'd see you back in this office again. You let those animals you hire harass your own daughter. She drives an 18-wheeler and drinks beer with the boys. Got a mama's looks and her temper. I can't take care of her from long distance, but I sure haven't forgotten how to be a daddy. You have forgotten how to be a human being. That sounds like Tom Sinclair talking. You'd like to believe that, wouldn't you? you just blame everything on Tom. Well, he did take it from me. No, he didn't have to take me. I ran. Look. This is personal. Between you and me. What do you have to destroy the others for? You are my wife. Maggie, if you need help, all you have to do is ask me for it. Thank you. Now, that's the cat. Same old Maggie, huh? You're going to fight the whole world on your own. Oh, I forgot. You got some new friends now. It just so happens that one of them is in jail. The other one. How close to you has he got? Closer in one night than you ever were. Listen, you're not going to walk away from your dinner, hear me? You're not going to do it. You're not going to walk away from your dinner. Calm down, will ya? Oh, China girl. Calm down. <laughs> then I want to see you in every swirl. There I love hey. you. Paula Holland. Uh, some drunk. Picked him up on Sycamore. Mommy. He can sleep it off. Ooh, my heart. Boy, you bailed out. Time for you to leave. Who posted bail? What do you care who posted bail? Get out of there before I slam this door in your face. I think I prefer you shot me while I was facing you rather than when I'm walking down the corridor. Go for it, man. Go for it. It's a chance. It's the only chance you got. <laughs> Is that you? Who else? Ninjas, the first masters of disguise. You even smell like whiskey. That was the hard part. Let's go. They're pulling out at dawn. Six, eight trucks, loaded for market, armed. They don't suspect you? No, no, you, you took care of that. There's only one way out of this valley. That's through the Allegheny and Meadows. Uh, then there's a fork. They'll either take uh, Highway 42 or that uh, winding mountain road. <laughs> All right. Well, whichever route they take, we'll be ready for them. Gone. Good. But you better stay here till morning. You got a problem? Oh, yeah. The mixture's just a little rich. Mm. Mm. Does your mother know you do this kind of work? Mm. Yeah, I'll fix it. I can fix it. I was 12 when I overhauled my first engine. But it only counts if you fixed it so it ran. Cute. What's that mean? It means... Maybe I'm beginning to understand why we're so much alike. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Shooting from the hip, an old Keller trait. 
I'll tell you about it sometime. You're sure to get yourself in a lot of trouble trying to help us. I didn't think you saw it that way. Uh, it just comes from growing up with a smart mouth and a short fuse. <laughs> you did pull me out of that bar. Kane was going to take me apart. There wouldn't have been enough left for a dog's dinner. Is that uh, Banks? Close as I can get. I'm glad you're here. I really am. get kind of lonely in here. I, I thought... <laughs> I know what you thought. I like you, too. But let me tell you when I'm ready to like you better. <laughs> Sweet dreams, city boy. I'm losing your touch, Max. Why didn't you tell me you were married to Helmer? He was a very different man 20 years ago. I... You don't have to explain. I want to. We arrived in this valley together. He started a small trucking business. He worked at it 24 hours a day. And slowly, with each day, he changed. Why didn't you leave? Because of Cat. Then I met Tom Sinclair. He was gentle and loving like you. And then he was gone. I know how hard it is to give up the past. I gave up a whole lifetime. What matters is now your survival. We're partners in this. We'll face it together. You have a plan? Not exactly. But Hellman does. <laughs> and I can be very adaptable. Now you keep those trucks together and keep them moving. No matter what. Where will you be? You'll know when you see me. Set, Maggie. I don't suppose it'd do any good to toss you out. You can try. <laughs> okay, guys, let's roll. Steam hammer. This is Papa Joe. This is Steam hammer. Go ahead, Papa. We're pulling out. We'll be waiting for you. Bury it. That's it. This is Kane. Do you copy Steam Hammer? Come in. We copy. Come in. If they come this way, we're all set.
It's a shortcut to the path. Good, we'll take it. Now, this isn't going to do you much good with these guys. I've got a shotgun underneath the seat. Keep it there. That's all I'll need. Oh, you catch bullets with your teeth, too? Lesson 17. You are the most exasperating, teeth grinding, downright maddening person I ever met. I like you, too. Dave Hammer, this is Papa Joe. Turned off onto the dirt road. No sweat, Papa. Kane will have a nice surprise waiting for you at the bottom of the pass. Just make sure you pull out when the fun starts. What fun? You got 10 seconds before you black out. <laughs> Kane and some of the other boys, they mine the road. <laughs> Explosives. Where? On the map. Show me. <laughs> Never have time to make it. A crop duster. They can't see anything. somewhere, Joe. Here's how Hellman knew every move you were going to make. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't? Papa Joe? They were ready for whatever route you took. Get over there with your friends, Joe. I see the drop in. I was in the neighborhood. You know how it is. I'll take these boys to the sheriff's office. I need cats pickup. 
Max and I have a pit stop of our own to make. You considered the alternatives? All of them. It wasn't as hard as you made it out to be, figuring out who the bad guys are. Some of them are more obvious than others. I'm telling you, they saw us. Both you boys have an airtight alibi. You were here with me. Well, well, look who we have here. City boy just can't stay away. Making a citizen's arrest, Kane. What's the charge, boy? Attempted murder. Out on the road this morning. Kane and Reagan were here for hours. Bartender's a witness to that. See you like this. know something? You two get together with the guy that busted him out of jail, and you'd be unbeatable. Unbeatable! There are a lot of grateful farmers in this valley that I have to say thank you to. Stay. One more night. They'll throw you the best harvest party you've ever been to. I'd believe it. But it must be moving on. There's nothing I can say? You've said an awful lot already. It wasn't enough. It will be. You have seen this valley at its worst. Parched crops, Hellman. I want the chance to show it to you when it is green and growing, filled with life and wonderful people. I'm going to take that chance, as I will return. Isn't that usually me up there? Well, he waits in the van. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. <laughs> Heard you put on quite a show at the White Line for a city boy. Got that egg sucker real good. Oh, uh, what are you doing? I'm going with you. Where? Oh, wherever you're going. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. Just a minute. I, I like you. I told you that. The man, McAllister. Maggie knows I'm going. I think she wants me to keep an eye out on him, but the way I figure it, I think I'm going to have my hands full trying to keep you out of trouble. Kath. <sighs> I hope I'm not interrupting. We just picked up a passenger. I know. I've already given it my blessing. You did what? She just wants a lift. Oh, only to the next town. Whatever you say, Max. 